Welcome to the Clutch Tech Support Clutch Installation Lab. These are Clutch Master cylinders with a start switch that the push rod goes through. This one is a Ford style. This one is common on Dodge, Ram, and Jeep applications. Now to remove the master cylinder, you'll need to remove the start switch and reinstall it. The question comes up on tech support, how do I get this switch off? It's dark up there underneath the dashboard. This part is a black retainer on a black switch body, kind of hard to see. There's a little trick to getting this one off and this one. I'll show you how to remove and replace clutch start switches on these master cylinders. To remove the start switch from a Dodge, Ram, or Jeep style start switch, underneath the dashboard there's two tabs that hold this cap, retainer, keeper on whatever you like to call it. Squeeze those two little tabs together, slide the retainer towards the clutch pedal, and it'll come off. Now that the cap retainer is off, I'm going to pull the switch away from the master cylinder, take the foam ring and get it out of the way. I'm going to push this away from the push rod. That lets it unsnap from the push rod. That comes right off. If you're starting with a new installation, I think it would be easiest to slide the switch onto the push rod, then insert the foam buffer onto the shoulder of the switch. Washer has a collar, goes in the foam buffer. And then with this installed, sticking through the dashboard already, take the push rod, put it in position, and it locks in. There's two little tabs in there that lock onto that push rod, so you get one chance to lock that in. Now you go ahead and complete the installation by putting this on the push rod of the clutch pedal and connect your start switch. Now, the Ford system, there's something that uh, Ford did and we don't have an answer when it was used. They've used these black caps and this kind of off-white color. So you're up underneath the dashboard, it's dark under there, and you're trying to find how does this one come off? So it's kind of dark, kind of hard to see. So for the purposes of this demonstration, I changed to this other whitish colored cap. So we're just going to carefully pry one side off. So you hear it unsnap. Pry the other side off. Lift the cap off. Now the switch has got a hook in this one underneath. I think on some Rangers they've got a finger that keeps it from spinning. So I'm going to pull the switch away from the hook a little bit, push the switch off at an angle. Let me do that again. I pulled the switch away from the pin and hook, kind of dark, pulled it off and then push the switch off at an angle. You can see on this one pretty easily that slider and how it's hooked on the shoulder of the push rod. So to get this one off, pull it away from the master cylinder a little bit, push the end away from the master cylinder, and it unlocks. Now to install the start switch, I need to Get that shoulder behind this slider of the switch first as I install it. So there I've got it on at an angle. Slide it back a little bit. And rotate it to where it catches on that pin again. There, it's snapped in. Now the cap. The cap hooks in at the front first. Slide it down in there. Get the front. There's a little tab. Get that hooked in first. And there it is. This design uses a magnetic reed switch for the clutch start switch and cruise control. Push the switch sensor off and just snap it back in position on the new master cylinder. 
If you have any questions about a clutch hydraulic system, clutch, or flywheel, please call us toll-free at the Clutch Tech Support Hotline.